Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this video, we are going to see what is decoupling capacitor or bypass capacitor. You might have seen digital ICs like a different gate ICs, TTL and CMOS that is 7400 or 74 four seven counter various digital ICs and microcontrollers digital ICs or microcontrollers will be connected on the power this is the power supply okay VDD or VCC we can say and this is the ground 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 terminal these two pins what we do we connect to the supply means fit 5 volt 5 volt or 3.3 volt, 3.3 volt, or 1.8 volt. Then this will connect to ground. If you carefully observe, you could see some capac low value capacitor connected like this, like 100 nanofarad, 1 nanofarad, like this. A combination of uh, three. I think usually three or four combination of three or four capacitors will be connected and these capacitors are known as the decoupling capacitor or bypass capacitor I'll tell you why we call it is decoupling or bypass capacitors now let's see if uh, let us assume that uh, we have a digital IC or digital IC or microcontroller and this is the uh, VDD pin or VCC pin and ground and there is no capacitor is connected no decoupling capacitor or bypass capacitor is collected now what happens see uh, when this digital IC switches that is uh, due to the application uh, depending on our application this IC continuously gets on off on off or it could be a pulse continuous pulse generator then what happens it will create transients or noise in the power supply rail that is this if this is a 5 volt supply line and this is the ground here transients will get generated that will create a ringing on the it will create a ringing on the power supply if you don't take care of this ringing or transient or it could be like it's just coming and going transient it could damage the device that's the integrated circuit will get damaged due to this AC content that is the transient or noise so to to bypass this or to take care of uh, the device from this transients and noise we use the decoupling capacitor or the bypass capacitor now what happens uh, this this capacitor provides a low impedance path to this noise or the transient which I have shown in red color so immediately what happens this this noise takes the path, path to ground so this will create a current flow whenever this noise or the transient occurs it will create a current flow through this resistor to ground so the noise goes to ground and just die down okay now let us under, try to understand a little more in a better way by taking one example now uh, this is a microcontroller circuit or uh, what it is or digital circuit whatever is now you know and the ground now I'll connect a 100 nano for simplicity I'm taking only one capacitor that's a 100 nanofarad capacitor now how does it work as a bypass capacitor let's let's see whatever the transient we got here that is let us assume that that is a 10 megahertz frequency transient why do we use a combination of capacitors because this noise is not easily predictable 10 megahertz 
now what is the uh, resistance offered by this capacitor for uh, this noise or the transient that we can calculate as xc equal to uh, 1 upon 2 pi fc 2 pi fc now if you calculate uh, what is xc that is 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by frequency 10 megahertz 10 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 multiplied what is the capacitance 100 nanofarad 10 to the power minus 9 so this get cancels right so when you get what you get x equal to 1 upon 2 pi so which almost comes to 0 0.1 ohm see that is the very what's a very low impedance it's almost like a short circuit for the transient or the noise content so this is how this will bypass this how this this will bypass this noise to the ground that is why it's known as a bypassing bypass capacitor then why it is known as decoupling capacitors now you think now you see this power supply and this power supply are same same voltage and same ground now what happens if one of the circuits doesn't have a bypass capacitor then what will happen whatever the transient produced it may goes to see if here transient is produced the second circuit that may goes to this circuit that is that is something called coupling to avoid that coupling this by this capacitor helps so it is also known as decoupling capacitor so we can call it as coupling capacitor or no decoupling capacitor or the bypass capacitor okay and how see the I, I gave you a simple example this is the imp, this is how the low reactance path is provided for the transient now if you want to put it in words what it is bypassing is providing a low impedance path to shunt transient or noise energy to ground simple whatever is the noise is there we have to just make it flow to ground and die down so that is using a capacitor this is this because due to this transient the capacitor is not get, going to get charged okay be clear it's not going to get charged dc it will get charged to dc also we could see also what is the one more thing i'll tell you see now this will be charged with the dc okay when then if there is a requirement for more current to current for the microcontroller digital ic to switch if it read more current that current it could get from this capacitor so that also smoothen the power supply requirement see we are simply saying we are using a using a what is that decoupling capacitor or bypass capacitor but if you want to draw this capacitor when you say capacitor it has got series resistance series inductance parallel capacitance series capacitance all these are there okay if you want to find the impedance of a capacitance then this is the equation for it if you see while selecting a ESR is a important that is the equivalent series resistance when you select you have to select a capacitor with low equivalent series resistance if we see this equation this our this decoupling capacitor or by 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 a bypass capacitor it is a, activating like a resonance circuit that is series resonance or parallel resonance I am not going in detail this, uh, this is sufficient next see when you what are the things you have to care when you want to use these capacitors you have to care what is the what is the capacitor type you use you generally we use multi-layer MLCC multi-layer cheap capacitor their size is small also inductance also very less in these capacitors then the placement we will place this capacitor close to VCC this is the pin of the device this is the pin of device K 
capacitor size we will try to use a smaller size capacitor that is uh, 1206 in if smd if is a 1206 package 0505 package we will use the minimum size so that will reduce other uh, resistance and inductances uh, then output loading effect the output loading effect means the gates are uh, our digital circuits will drive something so the, depending on that current also this capacitor selection varies so i got i think you know, i hope you got a brief idea about the uh, decoupling capacitors uh, if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section i'll try to attend i'll try to reply okay and thanks for watching uh, nowadays i'm a little busy i'll try to upload good quality videos for you thanks for watching